everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck, and I am your host. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the episode, well, hit that like button too. Give us a big thumbs up, and I'm going to thank you all in advance. But on tap on this episode, we are tasting and reviewing a beer from Rochester Mills Brewing, and they are located in Auburn Hills, Michigan and Auburn Hills, that's the home of the Palace of Auburn Hills, and that's where the Detroit Pistons used to play. But anyways, back to the beer, back to Rochester Mill. What are we tasting? Well, we are tasting one of their flagship beers. This is their Toasted Marshmallow Milkshake Stout, and that's a mouthful. But this Toasted Marshmallow Milkshake Stout, this beer is a stout that is brewed with marshmallow, cocoa nibs, and added lactose. And what's ironic is I don't know why. I mean, I know why, but milkshake stout, but then at the bottom it says ale with milk sugars, cocoa nibs, and marshmallows. So stout and, stout and ale on the same can. Interesting. Hmm. But either way, this milkshake stout clocks in at 5.2% ABV, and it's got an IBU of 20. So without further ado, uh, you know, and whatever this is going on, without further ado, let's crack this puppy open and have some fun. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. One, two. Okay, Ooh, zero smoke on that one. Zero smoke. Zero smoke. You had a nice little uh, Palace of Auburn Hills style pour, whatever that means. But uh, I'll keep that there. What do we got color wise? Oh, that, that's a black one. That is black, dark brown to a black. We got about a oh, quarter veil finger of some soap suds on top. A little bit of lacing there, but uh, let's give this one a swirl and let's give this one a nose. Mouthful and all. Let's give it a nose. Here we go. Nose number one for the milkshake stout. Toasted marshmallow. Oh, well, right off the bat, we got marshmallow. We got that marshmallow. Number two, we have cocoa powder. Another nose here. Number three, we have some slight graham cracker. And one more quick one. And a slight woodiness there on the back end. But as I swirl, swirl, swirl away, I'm gonna get this one to open up and, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Let's get this one to open up and here we go. Sip number one and I'm prosting to the Detroit Pistons and the Palace of Auburn Hills. Pro, sip number one, baby. Hmm. Oh, well, that's interesting. First and foremost, mouthfeel. I'm going to say this is a medium body mouthfeel, but it's definitely on the lower spectrum of a medium body. I mean, I actually thought this would have a little bit more weight to it, and it doesn't. It's a, it's a, yeah, it, it's, it's a lot lighter mouthfeel than I thought. But what do we have flavor-wise? Here we go. There we go. Sip number two. Well, just like on the nose, first and foremost, we are getting that marshmallow is coming through. We are also getting <laughs> cocoa powder, definitely. And a <laughs> little bit of that woodiness. And there is a little bit of a bitter coffee vibe coming through, kind of rounding it out at the end. It is a little bit bitter towards the end. Yeah, one more quick sip. Let me make sure here. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, but what would I give this on the pint meter? I mean, it's it's a very easy drinking beer. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, I will say though, I wish the mouthfeel was a little bit fuller bodied. I mean, it is a drink and really, really light. Yeah, I'm gonna give it another sip. Why not? Hmm. Interesting. Well, now I'm also getting a cola-esque quality coming through, too, now that it's opened up a little bit more. But uh, on the pint -o meter uh, I'm going to give this beer... I'm going to give this... Mm, I'm going to give this beer a 7.5. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's a good beer. It's easy drinking. Uh, I said my qualms. The, the mouthfeel. I think it should be a heavier-bodied beer. Uh, absolutely. That's number one. Number two... Vanilla on, excuse me, vanilla, the uh, marshmallow on the nose, great. Marshmallow on the palate, 
could be bumped up a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I like that woodiness that's coming through, uh, but I think my biggest complaint, that bitterness, the bitter coffee, should be brought down. I think it's a little over bitter, and I think that's unbalanced with the marshmallow. The marshmallow needs to be brought up, bitter coffee needs to be brought down. But with that, I'm gonna take one more sip. I'm gonna wrap this episode up. I wanna thank everyone for tuning in to this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubsapplepintin.com or the blog, which is www.pubsapplepintin.blogspot.com. And with that, we will see you next time. So raise that pint. Cheers. Prost. And enjoy!